Breaking right now, South Carolina Governor Henry McMaster wins the runoff election to represent Republicans in the race for governor in November. Here are the very latest numbers we have for you. McMaster on top with 53% of votes. His opponent, John Warren, came up short with 47. This is 95% of precincts reporting tonight. McMaster thanking his team and South Carolina voters for their confidence. But our team, ladies and gentlemen, right now, extends from the White House to the State House to your house. And that's the most powerful team there is. So I say Governor McMaster gets the wind after getting some campaign help from President Donald Trump and Vice President Mike Pence. NBC Charlotte's Rad Berkey joining us now from Columbia with the very latest. Governor Henry McMaster started off with an early lead. He won with a big margin, even though turnout was expectedly low. Henry McMaster! Henry McMaster faced an unexpectedly tough runoff with political newcomer John Warren, who is a Marine veteran. McMaster praised him for running a good campaign. He ran a good, strong race, and I salute that military service. McMaster was an early and constant supporter of President Trump, who made a last-minute stop in Columbia to rally support for McMaster, who became governor after Trump picked Nikki Haley to be U.N. ambassador. McMaster says the state's relationship with the White House House has changed under his leadership. And since that time, we've not enjoyed that relationship, but we got it now, as you saw last night. McMaster now goes on to face the Democratic winner, State Representative James Smith, in November, saying Tell he will continue to make South, South Carolina, Carolina better. But our team, ladies and gentlemen, right now, extends from the White House to the State House to your house. And that's the most powerful team there is. There were those who wondered if the visit by President Trump came too late to rally the support needed to get voters out for McMaster. Well, McMaster clearly feels it was worth it. In Columbia, Radberkey, NBC Charlotte.